In the first part of this example, we're asked to find the eigenvalues for this given matrix. So to find the eigenvalues for a matrix, we need to look at the characteristic equation, uh, which is the equation uh, determinant of a minus lambda i is equal to zero. That, that's where you find uh, the eigenvalues for a matrix. So our first order of business would be to actually set up this a minus lambda i matrix, um, which would be this given matrix. minus lambda times the identity matrix of the same size. So this is going to be a three by three identity matrix. Uh, now notice what that amounts to uh, here is, I mean, if we actually multiply lambda times that three by three identity matrix, you get a matrix with lambdas down the main diagonal and then zeros in every other entry. So when we take the matrix A here and uh, subtract lambda i, we're just going to be subtracting lambda from the diagonal from the diagonal components here. Every other component, we're subtracting 0. For example, this position is 1 minus 0, and then negative 1 minus 0, and then 2 minus 0. So we're only um, affecting the diagonal entries when we uh, subtract this lambda i matrix. OK, so let me, actually, I need to be able to see the matrix there. So let me start out writing the determinant here. So the determinant of a minus lambda i is equal to the determinant of, OK, so we're going to subtract lambda from the diagonal entry. So 2 minus lambda. And then the rest of uh, column 1 is unchanged. And then in column 2, we have 1 and then 1 minus lambda on that diagonal entry. And then this last uh, entry is unchanged. And then in the last column, the negative 1 and the 2 are unchanged, but we just subtract lambda, like I keep saying, along the main diagonal here. Now to find the determinant of this 3 by 3 matrix, we can do the cofactor expansion along any row or any column. Uh, just by the way, using row operations like we did in the last section to find the determinant, to maybe try to make this a triangular matrix, doesn't, it doesn't go well for this a minus lambda i matrix because when you're dealing with this uh, variable lambda inside your matrix, it, it makes it uh, very tricky to perform those row operations. Things get very messy. So you're best off just to go ahead and do the cofactor expansion. If you can pick a row or a column that has a zero, then that's always nice, but this one doesn't have any of those. So I'm just going to expand along the first row because that, that tends to be what's just most natural. Uh, don't forget to alternate signs, so that's what I've written there along the top as we do this. Uh, so this is equal to positive 2 minus lambda times the determinant of the 2 by 2 when we delete this uh, column in this row. So times this uh, two, determinant of that 2 by 2. So 1 minus lambda, negative 1, 2, and 4 minus lambda. Okay, and then we've got a negative here, so minus 1 times the determinant of the 2 by 2 when we delete this column in the first row. So we're going to have 2, 1, and 2, 4 minus lambda for the columns there. So 2, 1, and 2, 4 minus lambda. Okay. And then in the last position along um, this column, so we have positive, but then there's a negative 1. So we have positive, negative 1, which sounds weird. But so we have, we have negative 1 times the determinant of the 2 by 2 when we delete this column in this row. So times the determinant of this 2 by 2. So that's 2, 1, 1 minus lambda, oops, negative 1. Okay, now you have to be careful as you work through this, um, this characteristic uh, polynomial for the 3 by 3, is, it's going to be a degree 3 polynomial in terms of lambda. So um, don't charge at this thing full force and just start try multiplying everything out all at once. Uh, kind of take your time with this and be looking for common factors, things like that. Um, so I'm going to leave the 2 minus lambda out there for sure. 
and then work on uh, the determinant of this two by two. So I have this times this. Okay, and I am gonna go ahead and, and uh, multiply that out just so this video isn't two hours long. So I'm gonna FOIL. Imagine we're FOILing one minus lambda times four minus lambda. So first I have one times four, so that's four. First outside, I have one times negative lambda, so I have negative lambda. Inside, I'd have negative lambda times four, so that's minus four lambda. And then last, I'd have negative lambda times negative lambda, so that's positive lambda squared. Oops, and then I forgot. So that's just the a times d part of the determinant. That's just this times this. So then we have minus negative 2 from here. So minus the negative 2, so I'm going to go ahead and write plus 2. Whoa, I did not mean to do that. All right, so we're done with the determinant of that first two by two, and that's gonna be the toughest one. We'll start to move a little quicker here because I know this video is already getting long. Um, so I have minus one in front of that next determinant, and then when I multiply this out, I'd have two times four minus lambda. So I'm gonna go ahead and multiply that out. So two times four minus two times lambda, and then uh, minus one times two, so minus two. Okay, and then with that last uh, determinant, so I have this negative one out here, and then I have two times negative one, so negative two, minus one times one minus lambda. So be sure it's minus that whole one minus lambda, that negative should distribute to both parts here. Okay, so let's see what we have. I'm gonna try to write this next step a little smaller so you can see it better, or in fact, let me do this. I forget about these uh, capabilities here. Uh, okay, so we've got 2 minus lambda. And then inside the brackets here, combining like terms, I have lambda squared uh, minus lambda minus 4 lambda. So I have minus 5 lambda. And then positive 4, positive 2, so plus 6. And then minus inside the parentheses here I have negative 2 lambda and plus 6 when I do 8 minus 2 and then the last one here uh, when I distribute the negative there that's a positive lambda minus the negative so positive lambda negative 1 minus 1 so negative 3 minus 3 um, okay, let me do one other thing here. So I'm, I'm trying to factor things as much as I can because I'm hoping for a common factor. If you just multiply this out, you're going to have a cubic equation. Um, and it, it's not, I mean, if you can factor by grouping, great. But if you can't, then you end up uh, kind of stuck a lot of times. Uh, so if I factor this uh, y squared minus 5y plus 6, that factors as y minus 3y might, uh, keep saying y, I'm sorry, lambda, it's upside down y lambda minus 3, lambda minus 2. Uh, okay, and then, and so now I'm starting to notice, well, I've got lambda minus 3 here, and I've got lambda minus 3 over here, so let me inspect this a little more closely with that in mind. If we factor out negative 2 from this right here, so that'll end up, I have a negative in front already, and if I factor out a negative 2, That'll leave me with positive lambda. If I factor a negative 2 off of that plus 6, there'll be minus 3 left. And so now I've got uh, this common factor of lambda minus 3 across the board, so we can factor that out. Lambda minus 3 comes out. And let's see what's left. So what's left is, in the first part, I have 2 minus lambda times lambda minus 2. there. In the second part here I have plus 2 and in the last part here I just have a minus 1 because we factored out that lambda minus 3. And so now the characteristic polynomial looks like this. Lambda minus 3. If I multiply these guys out I'll have 
uh, negative lambda squared. I am going a little out of order here. I just want to speed this video up. Um, but so I'll have I'll have a negative lambda squared, and then as far as how many lambdas, uh, let's see, I'd have two lambda, and then here I'd have another positive two lambda. So it looks like when you foil in the front there. Oh man. So we'll have a positive four lambda. And then, um, let's see, so first is two lambda, outside is minus four, inside is that negative lambda squared, and last is the plus two lambda. Yeah, so we've got everything from the foiling um, in there. And combine that with plus two minus one, so plus one. So I'll have to carry this down one more line actually maybe a couple okay so let's see lambda minus three clean this up lambda squared uh, plus four lambda and then negative four plus one so negative three um, now we could factor from here but things are generally easier to factor if you have a positive squared term so I'm gonna factor a negative out of this whole thing and move it to the front here so I'm gonna move a negative out front and leaving the lambda minus three alone when I factor a negative off of everything in here, I have positive lambda squared, negative four lambda, positive three. And so now you want two numbers that multiply to give you positive three and add up to negative four. And so that's lambda minus three, lambda minus one. This is the characteristic polynomial for well, I mean, actually every line of this, we're just simplifying. Uh, but this is the characteristic polynomial for that given matrix A. And uh, from what we're looking at here, and let me write it a little more concisely as lambda minus 3 squared times lambda minus 1. Now that we're looking at it here, we can find the eigenvalues by setting the characteristic polynomial equal to 0. And uh, that gives us the result either lambda equals 3 or lambda equals 1. And these are the eigenvalues for that given matrix. Sorry this video is so long.